So in this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your custom menu, which we added in the info panel. When the menu is not set up, there is just a default option or a default scene actually. So the user can always go home. Um, in the back end, you can see a new section where you can build your own menu, which is in the settings menu tab. So here we have, on the left hand side, you have all the available scenes and on the right hand side, you will see the current menu. The way this works is you can add them one by one, of course, um, which is fine, but you can also group them together. And this makes it a bit more visually understandable. Oh, sorry. So you hold them and drag them, and you always have to a bit find where it is. Yep. So now it changes into uh, a child of this parent, so to say. The parent is outside. And you see that little minus that it is actually grouping it together now. So you can add this one as well. It's still on the parent level, but drag it or there it goes and you see it changes from the parent level into the child level on this outside label we can add the third one and maybe what we can also do is well there's a lot of bedrooms we can group the bedrooms together bedrooms add the label and drag them in until we find yep there it goes sort them in any way you like and you can all what well, there's a lot of scenes here so you can really build up your own menu structure of course you don't have to put them in the charts you can also just directly put them on their own level as you see here let's just add a couple of them the dining rooms entrance hall so there are two ways of adding the menu it's on the parent level so to say and on the child level which is a nice visual way of grouping them together if we save it and publish it and I say okay because I have it all crash this page So now on the info panel, the menu, you will see the structure that we have built. Uh, this is the parent and here are the child. It's a nice visual presentation or you can just add them directly. It's up to you. You can build up as you want to. So if the user clicks on it, it directly goes to that image, of course. So I hope you Enjoy this little tutorial and see you in another tutorial. Thank you very much.